Hey kid, don't ever let them get inside your head They'll tell you what to do in life instead Of everything you know that you could get Don't let them guide your life towards regret <laughs> Kia ora and welcome to Tarmac. Today I'm in Brisbane in Queensland and we're having we're going to be having some fun and frivolity with the Ford Motor Company. So today we've got the uh, next generation Everest which we're going to be doing some on-road stuff and some hopefully some off-road because I know how capable it is and then tomorrow we're going to get behind the wheel of the next generation Raptor so the Ranger Raptor and uh, that promises to be a ton of bahaha fun. <laughs> Come, let's take a look at this. According to the project design head Max Wolf, with the next generation Everest, they really wanted to communicate its capability right from the outset. So greater communication both visually and technologically. He says they were helped at the very beginning by having a longer wheelbase. The front wheels have moved forward 50 millimeters and they've got a wider track by around about the same. They've also increased the tire size by approximately an inch. He says all those things combined have set a framework for what they wanted to do. The other thing they wanted to emphasize was the built Ford tough feeling. So some of the elements such as the single bar running across the nose and the C-clamp lamps, they may be familiar, but they're also treated in a new and modern way. Ford has emphasized the width of the new Everest by making most of the most of the new proportions and chassis changes. For example, the Platinum model has 21 inch wheels and much larger tires. It also has unique front and rear fascias, horizontal lines all round and really strong shoulders. However, it's the rear that Max believes they've made the biggest strides forward. With the extra track width allowing Ford to give a vehicle a much bigger stance on the road and they've pushed the wheels to the outside of the body to really plant it. They've stood up the rear glass and backlights to exaggerate the amount of space and communicate it and also generally just toughened it up. Even the little things like the roof rails are now stand off as opposed to the flush ones on the current model. It feels more capable and more purposeful. New Zealand's getting three variants of the new Everest. The Trend, which is essentially the base model, the Sport and the Platinum, with the Sport and Platinum offering a 3-litre V6 turbo engine with 184 kilowatts and 600 newton meters, and the Trend being a 2-litre bi-turbo diesel with 154 kilowatts and 500 newton meters. Inside they all come with a 12 inch infotainment screen and either an 8 or a 12 inch instrument cluster obviously the 12 inch being on the platinum and a spacious cabin that will comfortably seat 7. On the road the cabin is remarkably quiet and the drive is ultra smooth. The V6 and E-shifter controlled 10 speed box are very in sync with each other and in fact the engine and road noise are barely noticeable. The premium leather seats are very comfortable and electronically adjustable and visibility all round is really clear and uninterrupted. There's a variety of drive modes and particularly on road we stuck with either normal or economy but there's also tow haul or slippery depending on you know obviously on the road conditions and what you're tugging. It does come with a three and a half ton tow rating as well so you can put those toys behind you. The adaptive cruise is really easy to use and uh, great for the, just for relaxing behind the wheel and following the car in front. As I said before, the new Everest may look more capable, but it really is. So should you venture off road, you've got four high, four low, you've got diff locks, you've got mud and rut and sand control modes, you've got uh, hill descent, which you can actually go down backwards down a hill and still uh, hold your speed. And it also all shows up on the screen. So you can actually, you can see the angles you're driving at. There's cameras all around. So you can see where you, where you're planting the vehicle, where the wheels are looking and all that sort of stuff. This is the sort of stuff that goes in some of the premium, premium Euro cars. It really is awesome. Then there's the next generation Ranger Raptor, which according to Dave Byrne, Ford Performance Chief Program Engineer, said all began with the engine. He said moving to a bigger gasoline powered engine set the tone for the rest of the vehicle because putting in almost 400 horsepower meant that the rest of the truck needed to talk and interact with that choice. 
He said the steering, braking, throttle response and sound, oh, we'll get to the sound in a minute, of the new Ranger Raptor all needed to combine to give the driver a visceral feedback that is really, really unique. Now the new design speaks for itself so I won't go into that too much. But it comes with a 3.27 meter wheelbase, a 32 degree approach angle, 24 degree brake angle and the 24 to 27 de degree departure angle depending if you've got a tow bar or not. It also sits 272 millimeters off the ground. The forward lettering on the unique grille is very pronounced. The bonnet is uniquely shaped with working vents and below it sits this monstrous 3-litre V6 twin-turbo petrol engine that gives you 292 kilowatts of power and 583 newton metres of torque, all with an anti-lag tech, which basically means that you are the throttle's ready to go when you are. The interior offers the best of both worlds between performance and upmarket. There is a code orange stitching theme throughout with front seats that have been inspired by fighter jets so offer both lateral and vertical support. And both the infotainment and instrumentation screens are both 12 inches. Aside from the monstrous engine, the two things I wanted to point out are the four Fox 2.5 inch live valve shocks that basically ensure that your ride is brilliant regardless whether you're on on or off-road actually and also a sports exhaust that will basically <laughs> has a tune that goes from quiet well sort of quiet to Baja mode which is just loud well actually ob obnoxiously loud it's brilliant Ford organized three separate exercises for us for the Raptor one was an on-road section which was rather tame and actually just showcased that the the Raptor drove really nicely on road. Next was an off-road segment that was far more fun. We ventured into the woodlands and uh, just played in the, the deep ruts and sodden earth, engaging low gear all-wheel drive and locking and unlocking the diffs. Of course the Raptor handled this with ease, but one thing that really stood out was the rock crawling mode, which is essentially adaptive cruise control for off-road terrain. You basically set it and just let it run over whatever terrain you happen to be that happens to be below you. Last but by no means least was an off-road racetrack for which we engaged Baja mode and just had fun. I'll leave the rest to me inside the car. It's moving now, flat out. That's it, keep it going now, keep it going. Keep it going, keep it going, keep it going, keep it going. Now braking, a bit more brakes. Ease off the brake, now turn your head. Now a little bit more steering, a bit more steering, a bit more steering. That's it, keep it inside. That's it, keep it going now. That's it, bit more gas, a bit more. Keep looking to the inside now, keep it going. Right across the U, off the gas, wait for it to come around. Now smooth with the acceleration, looking straight ahead. Looking, 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 now back on the gas. Keep it going. Little lift, now smooth with the acceleration. That's it. Keep it going through here now. That's it. Little lift on the gas. Now smooth with the acceleration. Bit more acceleration. Now braking. That's it. Then back to your side. That's it. Now braking. Ease off the brake. Now let it roll. Wait for it. Now smooth with the acceleration. Smooth, smooth. Now straighten the wheel up. That's it. Keep it going now. Now flat out. That's it. Keep it going now. Keep it going. Keep it going. Now braking. Bit more brakes, ease off the brakes now. Let's try and hold to the inside. Bit more inside, bit more inside, bit more, bit more, bit more. Now back on the gas. Bit more gas now. Keep it going, keep it going. Keep accelerating, keep it going. Faster, faster. That's it, keep it going. Now hook the inside. That's it, patient. Off the gas. Now back on the gas. Straight the wheel up. Good job, much better. Keep... But I think that the whole thing is with this car, it just makes you smile. Uh, well, yeah, exactly. Like, I think there's no other way of putting it. That's it, now braking. Looking through the corner nice and smooth. That's it, now smooth on the gas. That's it, now building it up, looking up the road, that's it, now flat out. That's it, keep it going, keep it going, keep it going, keep it going, now braking. That's it, ease off the brakes now, hook it in, looking through the corner, that's it, nice and smooth. That's it, keep it going, now a bit more gas, that's it, a bit more, keep it going, keep it going, keep it going, now hook it into the inside, off the gas, wait for it, wait for it, now back on the gas, straight the wheel. Patience, now back on the gas. Keep it going now, that's it. Little lift, left, lift, now back on the gas. That's it, now back on the gas, keep it going now. Keep it going, keep it going, keep it going. Now lift, lift off the gas, wait for it, now back on the gas. Now brake it hard. 
that's it, ease it off the brake now, now a little bit of gas through here, that's it, now a little brake, ease off the brake, now let it roll, now a little bit of gas, don't cut, now building it up, now building it up, more gas, that's it, keep it going now, keep it going now, keep it going, now braking, that's it, ease off the brake now, now a little bit of gas, that's it, off the gas now, let it roll, that's it, wait for it, here it comes, here it comes, now a little bit of gas, that's it, good, now building it up, that's it, keep it going now, flat out, that's it, flat out now, flat out, flat out, flat out, that's it, now brake it hard, brake, 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 not going to stop this time, off the brakes now, wait for it, 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 now smooth, that's it, keep it going this time, keep it going, keep it going, now a little brake, Braking, 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 not too much steering. That's it, now smooth with the acceleration, keep looking. That's it, now building it up. That's it, keep it going now, a little brake to dip the nose. Wait for it to come around, now smooth on the acceleration. That's it, now building it up. Keep it going, keep it going, now braking. A bit more brakes, ease off the brakes, now turn it in nice and smooth. That's it, now looking straight ahead, over the bump. That's it, off the gas, wait for it to grip, wait for it, wait for it, wait for it, now smooth. Now a little bit of gas, now flat out. That's it, keep it going now. And off the gas. Slow right down. No, nice. <laughs> the last one was brilliant. That was, oh, brilliant. I just, <laughs> oh, brilliant. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Nothing like so. It was brilliant. amazing. <laughs> <laughs> if you were brilliant, what we're all like, yeah, I, know, I, know. <laughs> I know they got that trail to help get rid of the stuff <laughs> off your seat. <laughs> oh, that was awesome, man. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that one I just it finally hooked right near the end. I didn't <laughs> step away from the vehicle. Just step away. So there you have it, an Everest and a Ranger Raptor experience on and off road. Honestly, the best fun was obviously the hot laps and speeding around on the uh, or off the tarmac, but what are machines or what machines they are? Uh, awesome. Stay tuned. See you on the next one.